speculating for a long time about uh, Star Wars, what they were going to do. And once, once Disney Plus was announced and Mandalorian was announced and Cassian, then it was like, okay, well, they don't need to do these w movies once a year anymore because the, the appetite for Star Wars will still be wet. Um, and they've already announced, I think, season two for Mandalorian they're going to do. Yeah. So you're going to have you're going to have the Mandalorian this year, and if not next, then the following year. You're going to have Cassian next year. So you got a lot of Star Wars stuff. The I also think that this announcement is pretty much, to me anyway, is a confirmation that we're getting the Benioff Weiss Old Republic movies. Um, and a trilogy. Which you're happy 2022. about. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And that it's a trilogy, don't you think? Yes. Well, I think that's, that, that was really kind of spoiled by one of the Game of Thrones producers that it was a trilogy. Oh, that's right. Yeah, um, yeah. And it, it's, so when I say Old Republic, by the way, it's not, I don't want people to be uh, confused and think they're going to do a Knights of the Old Republic storyline or the Old Republic storyline. They might not even call it the Old Republic. I think that it's going to just take place years and years and years beforehand. Hopefully, you see like kind of the formation of the Jedi. How many years and, are we talking? I don't know. Maybe a thousand. Oh, maybe, wow. maybe maybe even two. I don't know. But it's it's a, enough to where you kind of see how the Jedi came to be. Like I think that that's what people have been missing, wanting, and who better to do it than Benny Alfred yeah. Weiss? And then they're going to also announce the directors. Uh, will it be one director? For the whole, is that trilogy? what you're hoping? Not necessarily, I because am. see, but here's the thing: when it was J and people were like, "Wait a but that's not <clears> what you said. You wish J.J. Abrams would have done all three. Yeah, because J.J. Abrams was writing them also. So if Benioff and Weiss are writing them and producing them, if they brought in, if they're still writing, producing, and they're working with, because that's is what that they, true that they're writing all three? They're, I believe that's what they're doing. Yeah, that's writing and producing. From from what I. From what I gathered, I think they're probably writing with maybe maybe some other people, whoever they bring in. But either way, they're going to be heavily involved in it, the same way they are with Game of Thrones. So they've proven that they could work with multiple directors. And granted, it's television, but it's still epic television. So I'd be okay with it. Just depends on who, if it, if they can tell their vision and they have a through line. That's my biggest problem with this this new trilogy: is that there's there was never a plan. Mm -hmm. There will be a plan for this trilogy. Who do you want to be the director? If the, if there's one or if there's three, mm. Miguel Sapochnik that has worked with Benny and Weiss on all Battle of the Bastards, Battle mm. for Winterfell, he incredible so you'd TV, be okay director. With the TV director. Absolutely, but well, like I mean, the Russo brothers on TV. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I actually like to see the Russo brothers. You know, that would be interesting if 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 they did it. Um, I don't disagree. I mean, they've got they've got the chops. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, it's, and they're in the family. Do you see Iger? Uh, tweet somebody suggested the Russos for a Star Wars movie, yeah. and Iger made the would love to have clapping. them. Kind of well, yeah. The well, praying hands or clapping? Clapping. Sorry, clapping. I don't know why. So I did the praying. Russo, the well, Russos cool were the, yeah. the yeah. Russos came in to promote Civil War when we were at the old studio, and they came in and, and I might have even asked them on air when Mark and I interviewed them for Schmoes, and they're like massive Star Wars fans. Um, they we I talked to both Anthony and Joe right afterwards, like for a bit. We were just bullshit about Star Wars and they were going to come on Jedi Council because they were such big fans but they were just slammed with with press for with Civil building War. building the MCU. With building <laughs> the MCU. But um, but those guys after talking to them please they, they're they not they're not posers they know their stuff and I think they've proven proven, also, proven yeah. their worth with also, what they've Also one done. of their uh, paintball episodes of Community was basically a remake of New Hope. Yeah. Mm. So they know their shit. Yeah. yeah, that was a great episode. Good call Cody. Yeah. Really well done. I mean if you and, and that's the other thing though too if you if you announced if you announced that Benioff and Weiss coming off of uh, <clears throat> Game of Thrones, right, we're, depending on how the last episode plays, right, if you announce them and then during and then doing their first movie, directing their first movie, the Russo brothers, people will lose their minds. Is there is so? Do you think then that episode nine? I mean, I, I could. Is this the end of the saga? Is this yeah, a, yeah, it's over? they're pretty much for for now. Now, I mean, Kathleen Kennedy. Hinted that it's possible. Was that a dolphin? Yeah. Um, yeah, the, ah. yeah so, so Kathleen Kennedy had um, hinted that ah. mm -hmm. you could spin off a lot of these characters, whether it's Ray or Finn or whoever down the line. And why wouldn't you if you could? Uh, but I don't think that's necessarily going to play into the saga. Like the, I don't think we're going to see an episode 10, 11, 12 anytime soon. Okay. Right on. And I don't really want it to be. I There's too you. many expectations on those, on those movies. Yeah. yeah. Ever, though? I still think they, they might go back like 10 years. 10 Depend years from now, they'll go, Star Wars will be whatever this is, and then boom, they announce depends it. Depends on how it Agreed. ends. It depends on how episode nine ends, because the thing is, do you necessarily need it to be a saga film? Because that's you can still go 10 years into the future and not make it part of the saga film. Do you think sure. that they would ever make it part of the saga film and go before the prequels? 
Um, no, because no. I think the, all those stories have pretty much been told. Unless the only thing that I, w- I still say this, I think that it would be a great television streaming plus series is if, if you did right before the events of Phantom Menace and you did a Palpatine origin story with uh, Plagueis and you show and you take those events from Darth Plagueis inside of the James Lucino novel yes. and you show his it's a gangster story. I mean, you I should love that and, book. And so it much. would be their version of like the Sopranos, and if they did that. Um, for Disney me. Plus, that would be, it, would be, it would be really right great, there. man. The James Lucino book, Strong Darth Vegas, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I don't necessarily need to see any more movies leading up to it because I think that the saga connects to the Skywalkers. I mean, hence it's called Rise of the Skywalker. Rise right. of the Skywalker. So we'll see how it ends. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so 2022, I think that it also puts a, a kind of a thirst. For, mm-hmm. Because if it ends well, if this if people are really excited about this movie, Rise of Skywalker, and it plays to a lot of the fans, that by the time twenty twenty two rolls around, people are going to be ready to see a Star Wars movie in the theater. Yeah. I'm still feeling like we're in twenty eighteen, twenty nine. I have mm, to keep reminding me myself, like anytime yeah. I'm doing the, the math, I've been I doing that thinking, a lot lately. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Know why. Well, I mean, so that's <laughs> Christian's like, yeah, you dummies. I no, like no, <laughs> no. I, I can feel that. Yeah, because 2019, though, we are in 2019, and Back. Rise of Skywalker Man. when it when it. It, that's that's why I'm, I'm, you're going to get so much cool shit this year. Yeah. Mandalorian will drop. There's going to be another Star Wars series too that might not be the Mandalorian. Like that's in, right. Announced in the next well, six well, Cass- to Cassian's months. already coming out. Yeah, yeah. Cassian is, but but you're saying like a third. Yeah. Which if Mandalorian does really really well, which we believe it will, and and you announce like a, I don't think they're going to announce. I never thought those Obi Wan rumors were true. Yeah. Um, but if they did, that would and you could get Ewan McGregor to do it, that series would pop. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Master Cypher Diaz. I don't know what the voice was, good. but I liked it. Master, yeah. <laughs> Master Cypher Diaz. Thank you, Cody. I, 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 Riley's, Master. Riley's, Master Riley's just very Master nice. That's like John Travolta being a. It's Master Cypher Diaz. Cypher Diaz.